Hi people, this is Nettie again. I want to show you so far what I have done with my hydroponics. Um, I put some fresh mints here today. That's why you see them a little bit, you know. But because um, I cut them and I put it back in the I cut in the pot where I have the mints. Okay, this one. You remember this one? I had cut the the roots a little bit. They were real big. As you can see, the roots. This is that white plant. They they look like snow. Look how beautiful. Um, this was one that fell and I put it here and I put it in water and now it has a lot of roots. This one is pepper and I wanted to show you something. Let me see if I could see it. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but maybe later on if it gets bigger. Um, let me see. You see that little ball right there in between? I can't right. Ah, let me see. Yeah, right. Ah, right there. Okay, it's having a, a pepper. Now, I didn't think it was going to grow because this is just plain water. But it's growing. So, that's nice. So, it still hasn't have um, roots. But, um, it likes it here. So, uh, it's been a while that I had changed the water and it was still nice and happy. So, it's going to have peppers. I don't know if it's going to get it or not, but hey. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We got two different types of pepper here. This one and this one. This one is the same as this one. And I have also, this is um, bamboo. The ones that I cut by mistake when I was transplanting it and putting it all pretty in the canister, I didn't notice there was a baby one and I broke it. But I think it's going to be doing okay because it's been here like for a month. It hasn't died. So I figure it's okay. So this is on. I got like two, four, six only. Um, I call it hydroponic parts. But, you know, I don't want. Uh, you probably wonder why I got all this silver all over it. Mosquitoes. I try to keep the mosquitoes away. And that's why I fixed this part over here. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Let me get the color. Okay. I fixed this over here. Cleaned it out, put some more aluminum, and instead of dark um, pot holders, I decided to put these plastic um, foam plates. Okay, what I have here, I started doing my this year seed for next year. Um, what I have here is pigeon peas. I got two pigeon peas here because I have one outside, but I want to have three pigeon peas. So next year, when it's December, um, October, November, I will have lots and lots of pigeon peas, and I could also share with my aunt or with my cousins. So um, I have two here. I hope they grow. I also have here um, eggplant. A, uh, I put one. It's not the same eggplant that I have. That one is like brownish. This one is the purple one. So, And I would love to get the white one. I don't know if they sell it here, but I'm going to see if I can find it. Anyway, this is the purple plant, and I'm going to put it next to the brown plant and mix them together. And last but not least, this is, hold on, ah, it's hard to work with one hand, ain't it? Um, this is what? Okay, this is my mystery seed. <laughs> okay, why do I say it's my mystery seed? Because I found these seeds, it doesn't have no name in my seed collection. I didn't put it in the envelope or they gave it to me like that. I don't know. I don't remember those seeds. But they're round and purple with a little white dot on it. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to find out. That's why I planted it and see what comes out of it. Well, virtually everything that I have in seeds is either plants, very little flowers. There's either fr uh, fruit or vegetables. You know, I don't have nothing else besides fruit and vegetables. And one or two flowers, like the ones you have seen in my other raised bed. So then, where did I put everything that was here? Hold on a second. It's right over here. Right there. I decided to put it there because there it gets a little bit of sun. And, you know, these are circling. You don't have to wet it all the time. So... You know, it's much easier to put it there and I take, put the seeds up here. 
that I have to check their water every day. So I just want to bring you all this up, the new things I'm doing. I'm also going to plan other things. Uh, I'll probably do it tomorrow because I was fixing this side, as you can see, the um, oregano. I have all this set up, as you can see. So now, oh, in this bottom here, I have compost. I put whatever, vegetable, fruit, whatever, and I cover it up with a little bit of dirt. So, I'm doing my own compost in the balcony. It doesn't stink. I don't put nothing that stinks so much. And another thing I want to show you, I don't know if I should have done another, is this. You probably wonder, what the heck is this? Um, I hear little classes on Saturdays in the, at 9 o'clock. A Spanish channel. They teach you how to feed your plants. This is my um, eggshells. They say you put it in water. You, it, it'll start disintegrating in the water and then like in a month or two quarter per gallon I gotta find out one quarter per gallon and you feed your, your plants with this instead of crumbling all this up it, it'll take the extract from the uh, the water and it goes directly to the seeds so to the root so that's the best way to do it I guess so I'm gonna try it you know if I see that this way is way better then I just crumble it and throw it in there and it's much better, easier for me. So saying all this, I hope you like my update with my hydroponics, my new plants, and more things down here. Okay, so God bless you all and up to next time. Bye.